Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Morning Markets. Today, we wanted to build on the themes that we've been discussing through the course of the week, that of inflation numbers, interest rate decisions, and also looking at some of the retail activity in both the US and the UK. Kevin mentioned yesterday that we would be looking to both the Bank of England and the European Central Bank for interest rate decisions yesterday. Both of those banks increased interest rates, but very much in line with expectations, moving from the 0.75 increases that we've been used to to 0.5%. In the case of the UK, that takes interest rates from 3 to 3.5%. And in the case of the European Central Bank, increasing interest rates to 2%. I think one of the things that was noticeable in both of the statements and the press conferences that came after those meetings was probably a more sanguine outlook on an inflation, and particularly that was from the, the ECB, who did sound more hawkish and indeed indicating that they expect to continue to increase interest rates by around 0.5% at both of their meetings in February and in March. Also with the Bank of England, I think it is worth noting again that we have a situation where the members of the Monetary Policy Committee are split on how they think about and voted for interest rate changes. We had two people voting for no change, one for an increase of 0.75%, and then six the majority voting for the 0.5% increase that we did have. So again, indicating the challenge that policymakers have, and even at those policy decision levels, the split views that there are. I think also the other thing to discuss from yesterday then is just looking at retail activity in the US. We saw retail sales decline for the month of November. Not, not materially, but still did decline. Importantly, we've talked about the robustness of US employment and also the consumer in the US. And if we look at a 12-month view, retail activity in the US continues to remain robust, increasing some 6.5% year on year. Turning now to the UK and this morning, we had retail sales for the month of November. And whilst in a similar vein to that in the US, we did see a month-to-month -month decline, that month-to-month -month decline of around 0.4%, what was also a contrast to that strength on a year-on-year -year basis in the US is just the weakness that we saw in UK retail sales year-on-year -year falling 5.9% from November 2021. Whilst at a headline level that is disappointing, does indicate the challenges that we're seeing in terms of the UK economy, it also should be seen as a, as a positive in the sense that in the medium to longer term, in order for inflation to come down, activity needs to slow down, and that's certainly what we're seeing at this point in time. I'll leave it there for today, but please do join us again next week. Many thanks. If you're interested in taking your investing to the next level, or would like to know more about the options available to you when you retire, then download our free guides to ICES and pensions. These are available in the video description below.